Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be concentrate on, on this centre section here. So last time we polished these sides ready for moulding, so these have been polished, we've just got to go to the top there. And then the next section is we're going to cut out this centre piece here and put a, a radius on it um, and then basically that section will drop in afterwards, we'll mould that separately with the aperture here in the box there and that will be then a separate piece that we can mould and get in through the cockpit door. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get this bit cut out. Okay, so we've marked our cut lines here, and that goes all the way round, over to the front, and then back round again. And the plan is, is to try and run the Festool plunge saw uh, along this line using the, the guide as much as we can, so we can get this, this line as straight as possible. So let's get cutting.
Okay, so we finally managed to get the centre section removed. Uh, that's taken us most of the day, so it's taken a little bit longer than we thought, but we needed to be quite careful. We didn't want to damage the piece that came out, and we didn't want to uh, damage uh, potentially uh, the plug for the mould that we'll be making. And it was also important that we got a nice, a nice clean edge here, so then this needed to be right. So really happy with the way that's turned out. So next job is to put a radius on this corner here so we're going to run the router all the way around on this edge um, to give us a nice a nice corner this actual this end piece doesn't matter because we're not molding this piece we've already taken a mold for that so this piece isn't important in fact we're going to join it just here so this is where the join will be on the on the fiberglass part so front part will be molded as one section um, and then these side mouldings will go round uh, to the front so there'll effectively be a join just here so this front piece is not important we've already moulded uh, off that and we'll show you that in another video so basically as long as we're good from here all the way round uh, and say so we'll put that that edge on it then that effectively means then that we can mould this side and this side so um, let's get uh, let's get the router out and we'll get that uh, radius put on So guys, uh, just show you this, we've now managed to router this edge and we've done that all the way around. So that's now ready, so all we need to do now is apply uh, some Duratec around this perimeter, another, another coat around here, and then we'll be able to sand, um, wet and dry and polish that um, to a, a really good glossy finish and then we'll be able to mould off that. Uh, and I've just got to give you a quick insight into how the factory actually made these these plugs so climb in here so you can actually see so we've got the bow thruster there and the bow thruster tube um, but this is how they made the the plug in the factory um, so all made with ply and timber and then they use uh, you can probably see here copious amounts of filler which is how they were able to create the, the radius corners so yeah not something you see every day so we will clean the hole up the holes pretty pretty dirty at the moment but the amount of work that's been going on here that's no surprise um, and then what they did so they used timber and then they glued it I don't know if you can see there but they basically glued it to the hole I'll give you an example here we've clean this up so you can see yeah so they use glue um, to attach the wood to the hull um, and then from that they were able to sand it and coat it and get it to a, a moldable a moldable finish on the top so um, yeah it's really interesting to see how they must, this must have took hours to build these plugs a lot of work must have gone into these and when you see sort of in here, the corners. Um, it must have took hours of craftsmanship to get it to that to that standard. A lot of work has gone into that. So yeah, next time. So it's the end of the day. So we're finished for today. So um, next time we come, we'll get the uh, say the Duratec on this on this perimeter here, and we'll get that polished up, and then the, and then we'll be able to mould. Uh, across here, I think we're going to have a join here in the middle where the two sides will join and then we're going to mould the anchor locker as a separate moulding and then we'll need to put in 
this bulkhead here behind the mouldings um, and we'll do that either with ply or we are looking at looking at a composite material so we're going to mould uh, in two parts and then I think we're going to have a join here uh, and then we'll also have a separate moulding for the anchor locker and then there's this bulkhead here that needs to go in and we're either going to put that bulkhead in in the ply um, or we might use a composite material that we've seen but um, we need to look into that a little bit more but the great thing about this now is access so we can get all the way underneath so when these mouldings do finally get in um, when we get to install those um, we can get all the way underneath and uh, glass those in so and then this basically this centre section that I'm sat in let's jump over the top the centre section here that um, I'm sat in uh, will be removable so great access um, so if we need to make any repairs or do any additional strengthening we can do okay so it's the next day guys and today we're going to plant a piece of wood uh, under here with a routed edge and that will basically create a lip in the mold that our centre section of the bed will then drop onto so cut some strips and we're going to plant them underneath all the way around and then um, we'll be able to apply some Durotec to that and we'll be uh, we're also going to touch up these side pieces with Durotec as well and then we'll be ready for moulding. So let's go and cut those strips of wood and get those in place. Okay, so we've glued in this piece here all the way around and next is we just need to fill some spots on here and on the joints and then Durabuild. So we've applied the Durabuild primer, surface primer, so that's on, so we brush that on in the end um, just to get it on nice and thick. Uh, so hopefully then we, we could probably put one more coat on and then this will be ready for sanding and ready for moulding. So that's the, the lip that we've created. So that's turned out, that's turned out pretty well. So we're going to leave that overnight and then we're going to apply one more coat. Um, and then we can start sanding and polishing. So I hope you enjoyed today's video guys. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and please remember to subscribe and we'll be back next week with another video. And also if there are any XC line guys or anybody out there that knows any more about this boat, we'd love to hear from you. 
please comment in the comments section below and we'll see you on the next one.